Hi folks, this is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech and in this video we're going to look at some interesting Laplace transform properties and they're called the complex frequency shift and multiplication by time. Before we get into some examples, I want to just talk about the motivation and some goals or a goal for this video. There's two properties and so there's really two different motivations. Sometimes you'll have a function that you need to take the Laplace transform of and it has an exponential term in it. When that happens, you should really think about using the complex frequency shift. Similarly, sometimes you'll have functions that you want to Laplace and they have factors of time in them, t, t squared, t cubed, etc. And for that one, of course, you use multiplication by time. If you're lucky, those factors will be in Laplace transform tables and you'll never have to use these properties. But sometimes they're just not in the table. And so properties like this can save you. There's really just one goal. Be able to apply these properties to some examples when taking the Laplace transform of functions. So the complex frequency shift is very much like the time delay property that we looked at in another video. But here you have to just recognize when you have an e to the negative at or an e to the at multiplied by some other function. Then all you do is take the Laplace transform of that some other function and then replace every occurrence of s with s plus or minus a. And notice the difference in the signs. So if it's e to the negative at times f of t, then you replace s with s plus a and you flip that around if it's e to the plus at. The multiplication by time property goes like this. If you recognize that you have a function that's t times f of t, just take the Laplace transform of the f of t and then take the derivative with respect to s and flip the sign. And you can do this for t, t squared, t cubed, etc. I gotta say using this property by hand can be a little bit cumbersome at times because you might have to take several derivatives with respect to s and you have these rational functions with polynomials and s in the numerator and denominator, and it can get a little bit messy, but it works just fine. So what we'll do with these examples is work them by hand, and in each case we'll take a look at it in MATLAB. And in MATLAB what I'll do is fire up a live script and we'll just sort of keep a record of what we're doing. In this example we have this h of t that actually is often in Laplace transform tables in exponential times sign, and what we are saying is the only Laplace transform we know is that of sine 4t. So the first thing you do is you recognize that this is definitely a complex frequency shift situation. And what we'll do is name f of t equal to the quantity that is not multiplied by e to the negative 10t. So f of t is just equal to 7 times sine 4t. Now the property goes like this, h of s is equal to f of s, and I've used this notation with the vertical line to say that you are going to replace the s with s plus 10 when you're all done, because we have an e to the negative 10t involved. So you just take the Laplace transform at the problem statement and replace s with uh, s plus 10. We also have to multiply by 7 because we have a 7 sitting out front of the original h of t. So let's swing over to MATLAB and have a look at this. The first thing I'll do is fire up a blank live script file. Let me get that centered a little bit. And we're going to do this all symbolically. So I'll create a couple symbolic variables that we need, s and t. And let's form h of t, just as we had in the problem statement. Looks about right. And to get the Laplace transform, doing quite a bit of fighting with the, um, the uh, autocomplete. Not a huge fan of that actually. Um, and let's have it display it so that it looks like it might look if you did it by hand. We'll just run this. And there we go. That actually looks a lot like what we had on the previous slide. Hmm, interesting. This example is screaming multiplication by time. We have a t squared times something that we know the Laplace transform of, that is cosine 8t. Now here's the property 
from the previous page, just showing it so that we can remember what it looks like. And we're going to need to do this twice because we have a t squared. So here's what it looks like when we do this property for a t squared. We just take two DDSs, but we have to flip the sign twice, and so we just end up with no sign flip. Not too bad, except we have to take two derivatives of the f of s that is s over s squared plus 64. So the first derivative looks like this. I'm using the quotient rule, so we take the derivative of the top, multiplied by the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator, which is 2s, times the numerator, and then divided by the denominator squared. So that's not too bad. And we can simplify that just a little bit, and we get this. And now I have to differentiate again. So I have to do the quotient rule again. Derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus derivative of the denominator times the numerator. We have a little chain rule going on. And then divided by the uh, denominator squared. We can see in here that we have a lot of s squared plus 64s uh, floating around. So we can definitely do some type of simplification. If I take this first term and divide out the s squared plus 64 squared in the numerator and denominator, I just get the negative 2s over s squared plus 64 quantity squared. And now I have to go over and attack the second term. Now I have one factor of s squared plus 64 in the numerator, so I can do a little bit of simplification, but not a whole lot. I just have to multiply everything out, and I get this. Simplify just a little bit further, getting a common denominator for everything in b of s, and then writing it all out. And I guess we could factor out a 2s. There we go. So let's have a look at this in MATLAB. So here we have b, and that was a t squared. And we'll just take the Laplace transform of that. Help if I did a b. And we'll pretty it up a little bit. And there we go. Now let me fiddle with this a little bit more, see if I can coerce it into the form that we had, that we did by hand. Aha, that looks much better. That's exactly what we had on the previous page that I worked out by hand, so it's perfect. So let's do one more example. So what do we have here? Um, Q of t is a t squared e to the negative 3t, and that stinker is often in a Laplace transform table. But we have to do this problem as if the only thing we know is that the Laplace transform of a ramp, t, is equal to 1 over s squared. So we're going to have to use both properties. Now, you can do those properties in any order you want, but it would be best if we did multiplication by time first, because as we saw in the previous example, it can get a little bit nasty when you're taking the derivative with respect to s. So we'll get that out of the way and then do the frequency shift. So the Laplace transform of t squared is just negative dds Laplace transform of t, and we know what that is, so it's negative dds 1 over s squared. Do the quotient rule again, and simplify, and we get a 2 over s cubed, which is probably exactly what you do it to be. You could find this in almost every Laplace transform table. And now we can do the frequency shift, and it's as straightforward as replacing s with, let's see, s plus 3 based on our e to the negative 3t. Voila. So let's have a look at this in MATLAB. Let's get our q in there. and form the Laplace transform of it. And then pretty it up just a little bit. There it is. It's exactly what we had on the previous page, no big surprise. 
To summarize, we just rolled around a little bit with some Laplace transform properties, multiplication by time, and the frequency shift. And what you probably got out of this, hopefully, is that multiplication by time is a little bit cumbersome sometimes by hand, especially if you have multiple t's, like a t squared, t cubed, etc. It can get kind of nasty. Well, that's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.